throw it back again, also known as the black gentleman. And today, I'm not so much doing a review as I think I already did one earlier in the day. I don't know what damn well about this. But anyway, I'm not doing a review. This is more of a discussion or a topic. And it's something me and uh, Pac were discussing. It involves Megatron. And this may be a blasphemous thing to say, but I'm not the biggest fan of G1 cartoon Megatron. Reason being, because I kind of view him as kind of a, uh, I call, call I put this, an idiot. You know what I mean? His, his plans were always kind of on the dumb side. Anytime he could execute a plan, he never did. It's probably because he suffered from um, early 80s cartoon plot armor, where he never can get over on the good guys, may while his plans fail. But uh, yeah, this is the way he was written. I just found him very competent. And it got me thinking, you know, about you know the old school villains of old, where they were just evil for the sake of being evil. There was no ulterior motive other than just being, I'm an evil piece of shit, and I'm gonna do evil shit. And it made me think more and more about my favorite incarnation of Megatron, uh, IEW. Although I do enjoy Armada Megatron, but uh, and Prime Megatron actually, but uh, IEW Megatron. That's the Megatron I get behind. You know, he started out as a simple miner, mining for the Energon, slaving away. And he realized that, you know what? I'm humble. I don't hate anyone. I just don't want to do this for an eternity. And, you know, things go awry and he becomes a gladiator fighting for freedom. Eventually takes it to the uh, hierarchy of the council. Starts taking heads, taking names, taking ass. And, uh, you know, over time, like Harvey Dent said from Batman, if you live long enough, you see yourself become a villain. Well, Megatron did that. And eventually, you know, he realized that I have killed a lot of people. And I know a bit a majority of it have coming. But there are probably a lot of lives that maybe didn't deserve it. And, you know, if you can make an omelet, you got to break some eggs. And ultimately, you know, he renounced Decepticonism and all of his offshoots. And he became an Autobot. Maybe becoming an Autobot wasn't the best move. Maybe he could have became a, a neutral, or what they call a nail in IDW. But you know, I think the Autobot thing was just you know something cool to do, make people think about stuff. Maybe, maybe, maybe to even upset some of the diehard Megatron fans who believe that him being an Autobot is in fact stupid. Uh, I'm not one of those guys. I thought that was very original for them to do that. And. Uh, Back to just being, uh, again, being that black and white evil character. I think some people love Megatron being that, you know, let's keep him the bad guy. And I'm okay with that, as long as you give him an appropriate reason for being the bad guy. Because let's face it, no bad guy ever has ever thought probably they were a bad guy. I mean, sure, even Adolf Hitler, Charles Manson, if he could have spoke to them, I'm pretty well said, I'm pretty sure they would have said, well, I'm doing this for a cause. Here's my cause. And you could probably say, well, it doesn't seem that bad. You know, until you really dig into it and like, God damn, you're a horrible person. <laughs> you know, even the soldier, you know, I'm just following orders. You know, no one views himself as being evil or bad. You know, it's all about that area of gray. And that's why I enjoy I have Megatron, because of that area of gray. You know, when he repents and everything, he goes on this thing of not wanting to kill anymore, not wanting to use his weapon anymore. And if I'm not mistaken, you know, spoiler for anyone reading comics still, Pat, uh, at the very end of it, he tells Rodimus, no, I'm sorry, uh, Rodimus in the beginning when he was first incarcerated, told, he told Megatron that, you know, you kill a lot of people, I'm paraphrasing, you kill a lot of people, and you're going to die, and you deserve to be executed. Then towards the end of more than ECI, they have the same conversation, only that Rodimus says, they're going to kill you. You know, or incarcerate you for life. And Robin says, I don't think you deserve it. Because, you know, he got to know Megatron on that personal level. And, you know, ultimately, yeah, I think Megatron probably does deserve to die. <laughs> Even though I love I think Megatron, he's done a lot of foul, fucked up shit. And he, he deserves to die, more than likely. And he, told, and he tells Robin, uh, no matter what they do to me, whether it's incarceration for life or death, I deserve worse. You know, because that's because he can look back and say, you know what? Yeah, I, I deserve what's coming to me. 
And uh, I just, I, you know, I was just rethinking that. I, 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 read, I read a lot of message boards. You know, he's really, who just really hate that somewhat good guy version of Megatron. And you know, I just, I just think for a lot of times when you hate it, you don't, you hate it because you don't look into it or you don't understand the why of it. Maybe they shouldn't have made him Autobot. Maybe he should just been neutral. But I have to say, the Autobot symbol Megatron does look oddly cool. Maybe because it's so different. The contrast with the, you know, the, the silver grays and the red Autobot symbol, especially the more Mystery uh, emoji symbol, I just find it cool. But yeah, this is a topic I was thinking about. I wanted to post on my channel. You know, the whole thing of, you know, like, you know, guys like Megatron or even uh, Cobra Commander, even, you know. Do they really, you know, most bad guys, do they really view themselves as evil? Or even yet, you know, do you prefer your bad guys to be just inherently evil with no redeemable qualities? You know what? Honestly, I could do a video on Cobra Commander. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just, you know, just want to make this topic. Thought something kind of cool to talk about. So, you know, if you guys feel different, you know, let me know. Uh, I can take criticism. You know, tell me why I'm, tell me why I'm fucking stupid for thinking um, all about Megatron's cool. Or I don't make a Tron general. Tell me why I'm stupid for that. You know, I don't care. I mean, uh, you, I mean, keep it somewhat respectful in comments if you can. But you know, you can throw a sanity at me. It's cool. You know, use the N word. We don't talk. But otherwise, I can take an N call. <laughs> All right, then. Till next time. It's been Sardo, also known as a black gentleman, out here doing God's work, talking about these bad guys. Till next time. Peace out.